This guy actually moved from the streets, as in a street kid, all the way to become the president of a Rotary Club in Kampala. Rotarian Brian Senoga Chimudi is the immediate past president of the Rotary Club of Kampala Chimudi, treasurer of Rotary Business Connect, a trainer at the Rotary Vijana Poa, a member of Kampala Blood Donors Club with over 50 blood donations and still counting. He's a qualified pastor from Miracle Bible College, Rubaga. Today, he pastors Champions Fellowship at Children's Church based in Nansana. He serves on the Buganda Youth Policy Formulation Committee of Buganda Kingdom, and he is a businessman dealing with honey and all other bee products, including beeswax, propolis, bee venom, and equipment such as beehives, suits, and so on. His company, My Honey, also does beekeeping consultancy, helping over 1,800 rural farmers, women and youth in particular. In recognition for his impact in society, the human development, Rotarian Brian is the winner of the 2020 New Vision Top 40 Under 40. Also was awarded by the Uganda Blood Transfusion Services in 2019. The man has a CV and a half, but let me tell you something. When I sat down with him to talk, we didn't talk about that CV. We ended up talking about his rising from the streets all the way to become the Rotarian president. And that's the conversation here. And I must warn you, I was tempted to have part one and part two of this, but I'm not going to do it. If you want to listen to it, it's two hours strong. Enjoy it. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Once again to yet another episode here on Life Signatures. You're very much welcome. In the episode today on Wednesday, I am talking to one interesting human being. You want to listen to him. You want to learn from him and uh, we want to make sure that we are inspired and we are motivated. Brian, how are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. And to be here on Life Signatures. Yeah, you're welcome very much. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Mm -hmm. I had your story, a brief story. I don't know if you're able to share with us. From the streets to Rotarian president. (laughs) Yeah. That's one statement. But in there, there is a a lot to talk about. True. So, how did you end up in the street? How how did you end up to become a Rotarian president? Well, one thing I know now. Yeah. And I'll even tell the world over yeah that there is god and mm. he does miracles mm. signs and wonders before i get even to the streets i i was born to well our family wasn't that very like poor yeah at least we could afford three meals a day yeah and uh while i was in uh, senior two i started hearing the conversation about oil 
in Uganda oil. yeah the oil deposits in Hoima western Uganda yeah. because some of these discussions we are held right at our home yeah in your living room yeah exactly my dad used to have he wasn't such a powerful man powerful in terms of politics but yeah. he knew how to go about the networking yeah he was a simple yeah uh bus driver costas yeah but was he was street a business, smart yes yeah. a businessman right he had started up to the level of becoming a, a primary school teacher yeah who never taught uh. in school but went into uh driving cars yeah his profession was a driver yeah so he had um somehow he had gone into understanding business in the taxi park there yeah i uh, was driving playing the uh, the route between kampala and jinja mainly right. but the people he met he mm. met he could so along the way before we know he has a company yeah dealing with what mainly transport the same thing yeah yes mm-hmm. but then we started seeing people you would say i'm going to this place i'm going to this country yeah. mainly driving different you know yeah then people come at home and they started having conversations you yeah. know there's oil yeah. we need to position ourselves yeah so he wins the contract yeah like transporting everything yeah in senior to i ran a bank account of 5 million wow like yeah, your, your personal account no home account home account but i had to know like the first born yeah. i knew what was going on yeah. so i pay school fees i do, like he was teaching me how to handle money yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i pay school fees for this one i make sure everything is at you home you make like financial we decisions ne- yes we never had a mother at home okay so i was like like that mm. then things went i don't know because mm. in 2007 and, and, and mm. he passes on 2007 yes okay he passes on and i well i we tried to probe yeah i met the doctor who did uh, the Autopsy, operations yeah. what what mm. and he was so keen in how he said it mm. but he was telling me that your dad had been poisoned mm. later i find out that some of the friends the people he worked with mm. in the company because at that time he had like four companies mm. uh, to take you a little bit back when mtn had just come yeah the first main buses mm. they call them posters in mm. uganda mm. six of them to be branded mtn mm. were ours like wow. were my dad's wow he ran uh, a spare parts shop down in chiseka market yeah he had uh, uh trucks that carried uh stuff uh the 18 wheelers yeah five of them yeah like trans uh, kampala uganda exactly. rwanda exactly yeah but he stayed on his job yeah. of driving wow then he had a tour company Okay he was a driver all along yes but he managed to run everything a such a <laughs> businessman yeah. in his own way yeah so um so when i find out that he had been poisoned yeah and he died mm. let me tell you it was so serious that mm. the medicine for his treatment the month he spent in the hospital mm. we had to get it from south africa wow like weekly yeah get it from south africa um that hit me so bad yeah i'm the first born i don't yeah. know what is really going on yeah but i later come to know that his friends were part of it mm. when i went down to the car park mm. to talk to one of his friends and he said no 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 you mm. can work on on the as a, a, a bus conductor i mean i'm still young mm. what do you what are you saying mm. then another guy came and said you a young boy you don't need to be here mm. the longer you stay here mm. the nearer you get to your grave mm. i took off at that time my mother 
was in Molago bedridden. She had a problem with her spine cord. Mm. So she was parapla- uh, paralyzed. Was paralyzed yeah. like from the neck down. Neck down, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we were left there. Yeah. Before we know some guys come and they tell us to get out of our house. Wow. Our home. Wow. Some of these guys we knew like his lawyer, yeah. personal lawyer. Yeah. We knew we had read or interacted seen with them this guy at home. We yeah. called them uncle. <laughs> wow. Then we realized that while he was sick, he used to sign some papers for for yeah. for, 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 for the for, company. For the company, but also because his treatment was mainly paid by the for by the company, but also to get the medicine. Mm. In one of those signings, mm. somehow he I was think tricked. He, he passed on everything mm. unknowingly. Because my auntie, who was there at that time, had not gone to school. Now yeah. that this is why people need to take their children to school, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. So, including our home, so we get kicked out. Now, this is the interesting thing: the power of people and treating people right. Yeah. Our maid at that time. Yeah. Took over, looking after us. Wow. So he, she says, let me take you to my home. But I was big headed. I said, no. Yeah. No. How, how many, how many kids did she take care of? Uh, three. Hmm. Yes. Three of my siblings. My goodness. Yes. Three of my siblings. Um, so she, she took them and I refused to go. Yeah. She decided to look after them. Yeah. That lady is still there in Nansana. Mm. Very well known as Mama Tom. Mama Tom. Mama Tom is my hero up to mm. now. Mm. That every Christmas, every big day, mm. I make sure I buy her something. Mm. So she took she takes on my my young brothers. Mm. And I decide to say no. I say no. Let me try to figure out life. Yes. Yeah. But as I try to figure out life, our house is locked. Everything I only remained with just a pair of jeans, yeah, shorts, well, yeah, and a shirt of uh, these MTN yeah, yeah. t-shirts. Yeah, that's what I had. Mm. So I decided to figure out life. If I know, really, I don't have where to stay. Yeah, I can't contact anyone, even the people that who are close, I, seemingly. Uh, when disaster hits, this Everyone's is when you cutters, know yeah, who your friends are. Exactly. Yeah. They normally say a friend in, in need. Is a friend in need. It's a true statement. Exactly. Yeah. For me. So, um, the I stayed on the streets mm. of Nansana. Mm. Those who know Nansana in Wakiso district, mm. there is a place called Masitowa mm. and there is a, a famous club. Mm called Icon Club. Mm. Around there, there was a guy who used to do welding. Mm. So he could uh, weld these garages, mm. what. Mm. So, under his finished product, mm. that's where I would find myself down there. To sleep. What started as one day, ended up a month, ended up two months, two years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, my mother is in the hospital yeah. all the time. My uh, uh, uncles in the villages don't know what is going on. Yeah. But one uncle, a reverend, yeah, decided to come and check on his brother's children. Yeah. They directed him to Mama Tom. Yeah. I think about a month later, they directed him to Mama Tom. Yeah. And he picked my siblings. But no one could tell where I was. Yeah. So he picked my siblings, took them to the village to continue with the education. For, so for two years, I was in the streets. Yeah. Trying my life out. But this is the interesting thing. I wasn't alone. Mm. We were about five uh, kids of my age. Mm. You were through school by then? I had finished senior four. Okay. Yes. Mm. And you had the certificate? Everything was at st- still at school because by the time he died, I am. Um, had arrears for school. We had uh, 
Yes, because when he fell sick, yeah. we had not yet cleared, but yeah. I managed to do my exams. Mm. So my headmaster, Mr. Nsumba Joachim, mm. allowed me to do my exams. Mm. Another hero? Such a big hero. Yeah. Because even when it came to collecting my results, mm. he said he, he didn't like he didn't ask for money. Mm. Our areas, no. Mm. He just said, here yeah, are your is. results. Yeah. Remember me wherever you go. And wow. whatever God makes you, wow. always remember me. Wow. He's such a hero in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, long story short, so I stayed on the streets, but we were about five of us. Yeah. I'm the only one who did do drugs and never stole anything from okay. anyone. Yes. How did you manage that? My dream was always to go back to school. Okay. Now, there's, there, there's this lady nearby who mm. used to make chapatis. Mm. So I would go in the morning near mm. to, to help her with the chapatis mm. and she would give me give leftovers. You something, yes. Leftovers. But also, after realizing maybe that I'm trustworthy, yeah. she used to send me to nearby places mm. to buy stuff, mm. but also to take, because she had a contract with Makere College School. Yeah. She had a contract with um, Lubiri. Yeah. Mango SS, mm. Kampala, like these prominent schools, about five yeah. of them yeah. are Caltech Academy. Yeah. So, and her children, we we had, we used to go to the same school. Mm. So she knew you, they knew you. It, it's sort of, of yes. Yeah. For them, they knew me, but mm. she sort of knew me from that angle. Mm. So, and during that VAC, mm. Her children used to work at the canteens. So mm. she ran she ran those canteens and those schools. Mm. So she would give me the the, uh, the prepared the chapatis, chapatis and all that stuff and I you take, take to the schools. Now this is the interesting thing. Yeah. My dream was always to go back to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To sit in a classroom. Yeah. To study and become somebody. Yeah. You're hungry oh, for that knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. One of the children is now a Reverend Father, Ronald Chambade. Mm. Reverend Father Ronald Chambade mm. worked at uh, the canteen at Makere College School. Mm. Now, I would take the chapatis, mm. give them to him. Mm. Remember, it's uh, for break mm. time. Mm. But I have to go back to mm. Mansana, mm. pick, pick another others. stack yeah. and bring during lunch. Yeah. But for me, I would, the moment I would reach give him the chapatis, then I would look at the children at Makere College School. And you would think, I should be oh here. Oh my God. Yeah. Children of ambassadors, ministers. And yeah. you will tell tell me now, that one is a, an ambassador's child. That yeah. one. I'd look at them. Yeah. Such a young girl, such a young boy having a phone. Yeah. You know, looking smart, speaking all this <laughs> nice British English. English. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. One day I'll be here. Yeah. And then I would walk. That's the time I got to know that Macquarie College is near Macquarie University. University. Yeah, I would walk the streets of Macquarie University, looking at how do these people manage to be here? Yeah, at Macquarie University. Yeah, you know. Uh-huh. But interesting thing, the lady never asked where I slept. Yeah, though she some she would sometimes see me wearing. Her son's clothes. She yeah. never asked where I slept. Yet yeah. I slept across the road. Yeah. As in the streets. Yeah. So she continued doing that. Yeah. Sometimes I would move from a career college. Probably it was a good thing, maybe. She should, couldn't know where you slept if she thought or she knew you were a street urchin, so to speak. No, she knew. She did know? She knew. Okay. I, I know. Somehow she knew. Yeah. But... Um, this sometimes he would give me money for transport, yeah, and I would walk all the way from Makere to or from Makulavi yeah. to Nansana, yeah, like that. And she would reprimand and me. That's a uh, long distance, my yes, friend. Yes, 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 more than 10 kilometers. Yes, but you know, I mean, what do you care about? Yeah, F- after all, I, I wasn't supposed to take money back, yeah, 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 but I would keep this money for me, yeah. Just to eat a few things, yeah. what? Yeah. Now one day, <laughs> one day as I walked the the streets of Macquarie College, yeah, I see College of Computing, right? I'm like, so these guys study computers, yeah. Okay, I would go pick yeah. through, yeah, 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 
the the, the windows, windows to see. I look at these guys. Yeah. Then I realized the guys that do those courses. Yeah. They were like some of us. Yeah. Nothing special. Yeah. So I would fluke the mm. lectures. Really? Yes. You get inside. I sat inside the computer, the little computer operation that I know. No one taught it to me except through fluking. And they all didn't notice. Well. They wouldn't because yeah. in the morning I would wake up. Yeah. I go to the chapati stall, mm. wherever she makes chapatis from, because mm. it was a big thing. Mm. I talk to Chamba de Ronald. Mm. I go to their bathroom, mm. outside bathroom, mm. bathe, mm. look nice. Some Fresh things. enough. Exactly. Yeah. Look and like he, a student. He used to keep my toothbrush. <laughs> Chamba de. He used to keep it. Uh, another hero? Reverend Father Ronald Jambadu, wherever he is. Yeah. You know, the heroes are not the people that really shed the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whatever. Yeah. They're those unsung heroes. Yeah. And, and there are many, by the way, those kind. Yes. Yeah. Someone who will sneak through something for you. Yeah. Even if it's Some, for one minute. Exactly. One small season. Someone who will look at you doing something and they look the other side. Yeah. Simply because they know they understand. it's benefiting you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, on they had a TV. Yeah. So in the evening, whenever he would come back, mm. his sister Grace Nakazi mm. used to switch on LTV, mm. and he loved watching Robert Kayanja. Mm. So he would say, "You sit, sit down. Let's mm. watch." Mm. So you watch. You come out of that mm. with a sense of hope. Mm. Now, never joke with hope. Mm. Never joke with hope. I would, I would, uh, I'd like to use the words that were used in a movie, Shushak Redemption. Yeah. Straight as an arrow yeah. is hope. It never veers. Yeah, yeah. Keep it's shooting your arrows. movie, by the way. You know? Yeah. So I kept hoping. But in the evening, I would disappear. Yeah. Go back to my place. Yeah. And sleep yeah. there. So, how... Question was, how do I get from the streets to Rotary President? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a <laughs> <laughs> mm. because up to now it hasn't yet added up. Yeah. Now this is how it adds up. Yeah. So one evening I'm walking the streets of Nansana. Mm. You know, in Nansana, no one can beat me on those streets. Mm. I know them you like know every the back nook of and my... cranny of exactly. Nansana. Yeah. So I, as I was walking, I remember it was Wednesday. Yeah. But I'm deep in thought. Yeah, I'm deep in thought. Here mm. I am. Mm. My mother, I mm. don't know what's happening with her for now, about two years. Yeah. My dad went. Mm. I'm, I'm just there, exiting. Mm. Mm. Then I hear someone hooting at the back. Mm. I turn like this. It's a super custom, very old. And mm. the guy says in Luganda, mm. as in remove the baggage of your problems from the road. Mm. Turn like this. Fairly old man, mm. like this guy doesn't know me. Mm. I bend down a little mm. to pick a stone <laughs> so to hit him. Mm. You never, let me tell you, people have a lot that, it, that goes on in their lives. Mm. Something as simple like that can mm. cause mm. real heart. Mm. So the guy branches off and he parks at Ivory Hotel. Mm. I follow him. Mm. The intention is one, I'm going to stone him. Mm. He doesn't know me, mm. man. He doesn't know me. I run the streets of Nansana. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm the street king. Mm. Then he enters the hotel. Mm. I follow him. Mm. And I sit somewhere outside. Mm. But I had the conversation that was going on. Mm. These guys are talking serious stuff. Mm. I hear they are talking about paying school fees for, for some Kids. students. Yeah. But I'm like... No, 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 I need to be here. <laughs> I wait for him. Yeah. Now, I didn't know that it was a rotary meeting. Yeah. As he was coming out, I asked to talk to him. Yeah. He says, come on Tuesday, next week. Yeah. I kept the program. Yeah. Tuesday next week, I was there. The guy wasn't there. Oh. The next day I was there, he came back. Yeah. Now I later came to know that mm. he's a ro- these are Rotarians. Mm. He's a Rotarian and a Rotarian not of the 
Rotary Dr. Club Dr. of Nansa now. Yes, yes. But the Rotary Club of Kampala Chibuli yes. later yes. I came to know. Yes. And when we had a conversation with him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because I, I talked to a lady up to now I consider as my big sister. Yeah. I met these guys. She said, don't worry, I will find out. She found out and she, before I knew, they had become friends with this guy. Yeah. So, officially now she introduces me to the guy. Yeah. And the guy, Dr. Cox Sempewa, tells yeah. me, join Rotaract. Now, I don't know what this what Rotaract, Rotaract means. Is, yeah. But I'm like, what? So, in I find out that, okay, these are like children of Rotarians. I yeah. say, I need to be here. Yeah. I need to be here. Mm. Uh, let me be friends with these guys. Yeah. We I started joining the Rotaract meetings, but I didn't understand anything yeah. except that I had to be there. You just knew you got to be there. So every Tuesday, yeah, I would do whatever I do. Yeah. Uh borrow Reverend now Reverend Father. Yeah, borrow his clothes. clothes. Yes. He didn't have a problem with that. Yes. Shower. Yeah. Put on my slippers. Yeah. Walk down to the hotel. Yeah. I find this corporate looking like kids. Yeah. Too much like for me. But I said, okay, <laughs> yeah. be humble. Yeah. yeah Keep yeah. your level. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I somehow I started picking up and then, yes, by that time I think I, no, 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 no. Around that time I left the streets. Mm. I left the streets because there was a gentleman mm. in the neighborhood around mm. there mm. he was famously known as uncle henry yeah. he drove a taxi yeah so i went to him to ask for a job yeah to wash his taxi right so i started washing his taxi i mean every evening he comes back i do the job he yeah. gives me 5k yeah he gives me 5k yeah then in the morning one day he had not paid me yeah like I think for about three days. Yeah. So I watched. In the morning as he went to the uh, car park. Yeah. The night parking. Yeah. Where I the fo- car is normally he kept. He parked the, yeah, overnight. the taxi, yes. Yeah. I followed him. I realized he didn't have a conductor. Mm. Uncle Henry, can I... Can I help you with this? He said, do you know how what to do? I said, I, will, I know. Yeah. T- to be honest, I said, I know. Yeah. Sat in the taxi. Yeah. We went to, to town. Yeah. Now, guess what? I didn't know what to do. Yeah. At that time, they were collecting 700 shillings. From Nansana to, to, town. to town. Me, I collected 500 shillings oh. from each person. What a loss. Oh, 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 oh. But once I, t- I, 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 I declared to him what I had collected, he yeah. said, buy me a bottle of Coca-Cola. Yeah. Bought him a bottle of Coca-Cola. Very early in the morning, bought him a bottle of Coca-Cola and said, the rest is yours. Hey. That was money. Yeah. That was money. Yeah. Because in the morning there was no uh, traffic police, whatever. Yeah. I would, we would pack it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, you don't tell us how many you're supposed to sit. Just, yeah, sit. just sit. So for some reason, Uncle Henry started allowing me going with him. Mm. So we would reach down and mm. then if the conductor, his official conductor wasn't there, mm. you would do the go job. Then, Mm. would then go to uh, another stage called Good Daddy mm. along Jija Road mm. put in passengers, bring mm. now Good Daddy was always a, a nice trip because mm. one, I, I would be guaranteed of either cake or something to eat <laughs> in the morning yeah. and tea mm. because nearby the, the, the stage there was a lady who used to prepare tea mm. so as the passengers are coming in you're taking your tea mm. but also from I think it is Jireka. Good from Good Daddy to town. Mm. They used to give us like one thousand, mm. so I would collect the money. Mm. I collected the money, give it to him. Sometimes he would give me a little, mm. and then I walk back. Mm. One day, as I I was walking the streets of Nansa, and I hear there is a football match mm. at, where the, uh, around Saint Joseph's, yeah, Saint Joseph's uh, Primary School mm. in Nansa. I went to watch a match. Mm. Guess who I see? Mm-hmm. My dad's former conductor. Mm. That conduct, that guy had been, is called Yasin. Mm. Why I mention these names? Mm. 
such that whoever listens to this mm. doesn't think it's a fiction or you're, you're making this up. Yes, mm. it's called Kabunga Yasin. Mm. He had nicknamed himself Olise after Sunday after Olise, Sunday Olise of Nigeria. Nigeria midfielder. Exactly. Mm. Now, this guy played number 5, but mm. he had ne- nicknamed himself Olise. Olise. Mm. Around Nasa he was famously known as Kazungu mm. because of his skin complexion. Mm. So, this the guy. But he started as a bus conductor with my dad mm. and now he get gets elevated to run the tour company. Mm. This is the guy I said I'm like, "Oh my god, this mm. is the guy." So I talked to him. Mm. Only to realize that he still held my dad's phone. So he still ran the business. Mm. Okay? Mm. Okay, so I talked to him. I don't know I don't have where to stay. I tell him the entire story as I'm crying. Mm. He looks at me and says, "Next week come back here. We have another tournament." Mm. Well, like really? Mm. I went back and he gave me 120,000. One mm. hundred twenty thousand, and said that should get you. Should sort you out. Sort you out. Yeah. Well, to me it was money. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Mm. For as someone who is living in the streets, I got that money and went and rented a house mm. where I was paying thirty thousand every month. Now, what kind of house is that? Well, yeah. I rented a house. The other money that Uncle Henry used to give me, mm. I started buying. A few things mm. I shot here mm. there mm. well in my kawan room ramsha court mm. up until now when i think about it i'm like <laughs> it was the mercy of god had he trained enough yeah to have carried everything carried everything yeah. even me <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, wow. this is serious yeah so i get off the streets like that and i become now a taxi conductor yeah with henry with Henry mm. but he would drive me up to town when the official conductor is there mm. he leaves me mm. like that like that like that like that mm. his conductor was called Lutega mm. even a few weeks i met him mm. in the taxi mm. and i mean the taxi park mm. the old new tax park now mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i did that for about one a uh, two years mm. two years but Whenever Lutega would be around mm. that means I wouldn't ply other roads. Mm, mm, mm. I would stop there. Mm. But Uncle Henry the only thing he demanded from me mm. was always a bottle of Coca-Cola. Mm. The rest of the money would be mine. Mm. Now people came to know this particular taxi mm. that for it it's cheap. Mm. 500 shillings. Mm. So people would wait. Mm students what now uh, let me tell you no one respects a taxi conductor yeah do you know why mm-hmm. it's considered a job of failures people that yeah. have failed in life but every person you see is a huge dream walking including the taxi conductor including the taxi conductor the border border man the lady that makes tea at, on the road to party and all those things because god looks at us as his own image yeah it is just a disservice for us mm. it is a big disservice for us to look at people through our own lenses but mm. if we look at people through the lenses of god mm. no one would mm. mistreat the other mm. these students of mengo and uh, old kampala sometimes would come now mm. at this time mm. For some reason I don't know Uncle Henry mm. had gotten a Acosta. Yeah. I, I mean bus. No. Yeah. Business was serious. Yeah. So he had given the the, the taxi, small to taxi to another to someone else. To another person. Yeah. So and he took me to his mm. the Costa. The Costa. Mm. So in the evening he comes back, I wash it. Mm. Now that is 10,000. Mm. In the morning I have more mm. passengers. Mm. We go. Mm. So These students look used to look at me I think as a failure in life. Anyway, I think I'd failed, but I kept the dream yeah. of one day so I, I wanted to, to study. Yeah, I wanted to ask that the dream did not die. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Actually, every time I looked at them, they inspired me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you see a student, you see yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So, one day the car failed to break. Mm. If you know Bakuli, Namilembe Road. Yes, yes, yes. From the traffic lights going down, going the down car to... failed to break. Yeah. 
that, that shell place and so exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. So I was in the middle in this corridor trying to collect for money. Yeah. Then I turn like this and I realize the cars failed to break. Yeah. I'm trying to beg these students, give me money. Yeah. There are those who actually used to abuse me yeah. verbally and yeah. openly. Yeah. But I never stopped carrying them. Yeah. I never stopped. Yeah. Okay? So as we went down to the former uh Victoria, mm. Victorias, mm. somehow he managed, I think he engaged the gear and mm. the car stopped boom. instantly. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. I flew from behind. Yeah. And I came and fell right at the where the engine yeah. is. Yeah. Bam. Oh my god. Yeah. The people who are sh- shouting, screaming for their dear life, he said, laughed at me. Yeah. They burst out into laughter. All the coins were scattered. Yeah. I've never felt like that. Up until now, I have some slight pain in my back. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. Well, we collected our money. They went off and that was it. Yeah. But whenever Lutega showed up, yeah. that meant... That meant I wasn't going to ply the other roads. Right. So I would, I would buy him his bottle of Coca-Cola. Yeah. And I keep the money. Yeah. Now from the taxi park, mm. I wouldn't jump on the other taxi. Mm. No. Mm. I would walk to Makere. Mm. The school. Through Andegea. Yeah. Makere, Makere University. Yes. To fluk my computer lectures. Yeah, to do computing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Mm. So I would sometimes, w- w- whichever class I would find, I would sit. Mm. And you see the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Yeah. There's Seek power. and you shall find. Exactly. Mm. There's power in asking. Yeah. I don't know whether these guys never recognize the face, mm. but sometimes you'd reach, sit on a computer and it is locked. Mm. But you hear these guys talking about Cisco, I mm. hear what? Mm. They're like, excuse me? Sorry, I, I forgot my password. Mm. Would you please help me here? Mm. Someone logs in their password. Mm. So you do whatever you do. Mm. I started pen polling, mm. writing for different mm. to different people mm. online. What? Mm. Some responded. Up until now, I have a friend in mm. Italy called Sanchez, Monica. Through <laughs> 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 Monica Sanchez. Mm. And she told me in 2024, she's coming mm. with her husband. Mm. You know? Mm. So it started that small. Mm. Now, I went you, through... You, you let uh, Monica Sanchez listen to this episode. Sure, Share I will. Share with her, yeah. I will. Yeah. So, um, one day as I walked through Makere, it was during races, the dream was always to study. Yeah. At least study. Yeah. At least study. Yeah. I I go to the Senate building. Yeah. Look at the notes. Like wherever you see very all I think wherever you see about ten students congregating, come yeah. nearer. There is something. Yeah, there is something there's going information. On. Yes. There are two things that move when people move. Yeah. Information yeah. and money. Right. Right. When people move, those yeah. two things move. Yeah. So I moved towards the Senate building and I hear these people talking about Dr. Jack Smith. I hear free public speaking lectures. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, mm. I need to be here. Mm. It's in the evening, no problem. Mm. I stay, I lingered around Mackay. Mm. I lingered about around Mackay. Mm. Then I went to the that particular uh, room. Mm. It's a Senate building, room 10. Mm-hmm. Those who are going to Makere, they know this room. Mm. And I sit in. No one is there. Now, mm. for a moment, I was carried like in a trance. Yeah, yeah. I fell asleep because I was tired, hungry, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. And then I saw like in a trance, sort of a dream, mm. this lady mm. coming and she's talking. Mm. Whatever she's talking, I can't understand. Mm. But whatever she says writes itself from the walls. Yeah. Started with the the board. Yeah. The board got full and it, the entire room get, the walls. gets yeah. get filled. Yeah. 
all of a sudden someone opens the door and I get out of this situation. Yeah. This person runs out and shouts, there's a street boy in our room. Yeah. Lawrence, some people are so gifted that they will look at you and know what and who you are. Yeah. There's a street boy yelling. Yeah. As I try to get out. Sort of like in panic because I was dirty. Like Mm. everything Mm. looks, you know. Mm. I tried to get out because I knew this was danger. I'm not supposed to be here. Mm. And guess who I bumped into? Like literally I knocked the the, the old man. Mm. A white tall guy. Mm. Later I came to know his doctor Jack Smith. Mm. He looks at me and said, like he speaks on top of his voice. Those who have attended Doctor Jack Smith's voice, I mean yeah, lectures, lectures, yeah, they know him for that. Mm. Boy, sit down. Mm. I sat behind, mm. and he starts talking, teaching people about public speaking, mm. public speaking, mm. communication mm. skills. Mm. Guess what? The dream is coming true. Yeah, I'm in a lecture room. <laughs> I'm not qualified to be there by human standards. <laughs> <sighs> you know, yeah. I'm not qualified to be here by human standards, yeah. but I'm there. Yeah. He gave me an opportunity. Yeah. Up to now, I have a certificate from Macquarie University. Yeah. Public speaking. Public speaking. Well, in your days, that there is always an oasis. Yeah. For you just to drink from and move on. Yeah. The lady who shouted. Those students were doing communi- uh, mass communication. Yeah. The lady who shouted later, I came to know she's called Ken Talo. Mm. But I don't know the other name. Mm. Ken Talo. Mm. And she really, really, like, sort of liked me, but at a mm. distance. Mm. Ken Talo. Mm. Now, well, I continued like that, like that, but still, I had to go back to mm. school. Mm. One day, as I'm walking through the streets of Makere again, mm. I was grabbed. Mm. Remember the monies I used to make yeah. from Uncle yeah. Henry? Yeah. I'd opened up an account in Crane Bank. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'd opened up an account in Crane Bank. So I used every morning, I would go to the ATM, mm. deposit the money. Mm. And leave. Mm. Deposit the money and leave. Mm. Deposit the money and leave. Mm. At, 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 at. Reached like three hundred thousand. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um. One day I'm grabbed. Because mm. that day I walked in a master's class. Mm. So you could you can easily tell <laughs> there are not many master's students, <laughs> <laughs> and at least everyone knows everybody. Yeah. So I'm grabbed and I'm taken to a, a certain office, and the gentleman says, "Yeah, take him to police." Yeah. As I was being taken down to the police, I started negotiating with this gentleman. Yes, yeah. don't take me to police. My mother. Da, da, da. He says, "How much do you have?" I said, "I have some money, please." Can if you, I can give? Where is the money? Yeah. The guy was literally carrying me off the what? Yeah. The floor. Yeah. Well, Makere around the canteen. There is an ATM machine for Crane Bank. Yeah. I go in draw all the money and give it to him. That you was the me. last time I said to hell with Makel. Oh. Gave it to him and yeah. I disappeared. Yeah. Now the next place that I used to went yeah. was the scripture union. Right. In Nakulabi. Right. Because there was free material, yeah. reading material. Yeah. And I loved reading. Yeah. That's where I bumped into a book called Johnny, a biograph of Johnny Ekerson Tada. Right. Now, this lady was going through the same situation as my my mother. Yeah. So, I read the biography. I still have that book. Mm. I read the biography and for some reason, I said, I need to look for my mother. Mm. Went to Mulago Hospital. Mm. I asked uh, Chambade, can you escort me to Mulago? He said, no, but mm. I can direct you. Mm. He directed me. At the gates of Mulago, I met another guy mm. that directed me and took me right at... My mama's bed. Yes, at uh, the ward. Mm. 
later I came to know this guy also comes from Nansana. Mm. Today we are brothers. Yeah. He's a doctor now. Yeah. Dr. Henry Duke Tamale. Yeah. We've been like this. Yeah. I met my mom. She cried. Yeah. For years she has not seen me. The yeah. world's looking. Yeah. Somehow I started learning how to pray. So yeah. I prayed for her. Yeah. Miracles still happen. Right. I want to tell you. Right. The woman who had been relegated to just vegetate and mm. die. Mm. We prayed and today she walks on her two feet. Wow. Because the doctors had said given up on this one this case. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. Still the dream was there to study. Mm. My mother paid for money. Mm. My money at to go back to school but I said I'm not going to any other school. Mm. I went back to my former school St. Francis mm. Secondary School Nansana. Mm. Because here I didn't need to do an interview. Mm. Mm-hmm. You are known there. I took myself straight to yeah, the to head teacher. Level. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm. To level I never went to the head teacher's mm. office. Mm. Now for years they mm. just saw me there. Mm. My former teachers were there. Mm. I'd not done the interview mm. and spent years on on the streets mm. not studying mm. i didn't know what i'd done in, in my all level yeah but i went straight to olive a level. level yeah i'd consulted with uh, chamber day mm. about these combination things mm. i said i will choose the easiest one mm. so i did history economics mm. luganda divinity <laughs> simple <laughs> <laughs> okay not knowing what had done in olive yeah economics <laughs> <laughs> history economics luganda divinity <laughs> yeah simple yeah i said you know, did i realized okay what what do i need uniform i went down to this is why you don't need to buy your bridges right the guy who used to work at the kitchen was called sematiko yeah well before life we, before life happened yeah I was good friends with Sematiko. Well, Sematiko was good friends with most people yeah. that would sort beans, what, yeah. what. So I went to Sematiko. Yeah. And started helping him at the kitchen still mm. with mm. his team. Mm. Knowing that if I'd not paid school fees, at least let me be assured of a meal mm. at school. Mm. Mm-hmm. So Sematiko would give us food. Mm. But in life there are people who look at you and they know somehow heaven stone on them that mm. you are destined for something so they will ignore you mm. okay mm. but you don't take the, that for ignorance mm. the headmaster used to look at me and like her we say no ga you are <laughs> you know mm. first term mm. now semetico led me to the tailor right. school tailor right The guy gave me a uniform that was oversized but I, at least I had a uniform. Yeah. You know you I'm um, this uh stubborn but well behaved <laughs> guy at school. Yeah. Participate in this, participate in that. Yeah. The only thing that I didn't really participate in were uh, games. Yeah. Football and like I, I I don't think I have that much talent. Yeah, in football. In football? Mm. Because the last time I participated in a football match, mm. some good friend of mine hit me and said <laughs> like no. When I jumped off the the ground, I chased him to beat him. <laughs> I was like if this is going to be the nature of things, no 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 no. no. Yeah. Friendship ma- yeah. makes more sense to me than just a game. Yeah. Yeah. So he gave me a uniform. I started first term no school fees wow. but guess what mm. I had good points okay yeah second term no school fees yeah okay yeah remember uncle henry now mm. uncle henry mm. we continued so i would wake up very early in the morning mm. do my route mm. come back mm. put on my school uniform go to class go to class yeah and uncle henry decided to pay my school fees wow part Another of the hero part of it yeah now when i got a bit of the money i went to the village yeah my uncle in the village like they cried yeah he said you're going to get back here and start from here i said no yeah i said no yeah my auntie his wife made a statement mm. 
say gwe to chimanyi nti bank of uganda eri mu eri mu kampala as is yeah. as in the don't you know the, the bank of uganda is in kampala is in kampala yeah that's a very so, wise statement <laughs> you know <laughs> so somehow yeah he said okay we shall pay your school fees mm. part of it go back mm. okay now but guarantee that everything will be well mm. he talks to my mother mm. my mother said everything will be well mm. but my mother wanted me to be in a hostel or boarding section i said no mm. i want to be alone mm. 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 because i'd start i figured this it out yeah this life yeah and you knew you could do it Lawrence, yeah i study yeah and finish one thing i never did mocks right for a level mm. somehow i knew i wouldn't manage mm. and not read mm. properly mm. so i dodged the mocks mm. in the books of wakiso district mocks mm. whatever you're not there i'm not there <laughs> <laughs> but two the headmaster and the bus had hinted if you haven't finished school fees you're not going to do final yeah. exams yeah. so i concentrated on making money yeah, yeah so that you can do the exams i can do the exams yeah so i worked with uncle henry yeah proper and then i started applying the longer routes yeah yeah kampala masindi yeah. what you know yeah by the time these guys were finished with their mocks and holiday yeah i brought the money on the table yeah at least i'm paying for my yeah final yeah, exam final exam that's your but target but guess what mm. i wasn't there while they were registering oh 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 so my class teacher madam betty chivumbi asks me so you you haven't registered mm. but you want to do the final exams i said oh mm. okay maybe i will do next year mm. but you know when when god has his eyes on you mm. certain things will work in order mm. this lady had gone ahead to register me in my absence mm. and she had inverted the the uh, the combination remember i told you history english <laughs> Luganda. Luganda divinity yeah, yeah she did history uh, history economics yeah. eh? history economics divinity stroke luganda still it's the same it's thing same thing yeah still it's the same thing yeah it's like saying brand senoga senoga brand yeah, yeah, yeah somehow yeah. yeah i sat my exams yeah well finish and i'm like it's okay yeah university will cater for itself right so i went back to my you had no more routines taxi what yeah. what mm. if you go down to the tax park mm. on a certain stages mm. everyone knows me that yeah. even when i don't have like money yeah. in town here i can yeah. go down yeah. ask to to, to 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 shout a bit yeah. for about five taxis and they will give me my money and i go <laughs> to doubt to you know exactly. call for people to come to exactly. feed, feed, you can feel several taxis ah, i would tell them in another go cha as in this one <laughs> huh? wash it with warm water please sit <laughs> Ah time came as because over the weekends I would sometimes go to to scripture union mm. there mm. talk to some I'd met a few friends mm. I'd made a few friends they gave me books mm. but Remember Grace Nakazi with the lady I told you about mm. she never stopped switching on LTV mm. these are staunch catholics mm. and mm. she never stopped watching Robert Kayanja mm. my dream was one day if i ever mm. step there mm. and have a friend who has a book mm. okay mm. i had stopped my rotaract stint mm. a bit mm. because of work mm. and school mm. but when the holidays came mm. you went back yes mm. and because of what had because of school mm. uncle henry started being tough on me yeah you have to be at school yeah now me i have to be working and taxis yeah. Yeah. you have to be at school yeah. he stopped me here and there yeah so somehow i went back to mm. rotaract mm. by the time i i i, I got back I, these guys had progressed they have mm. titles here so I'm like, 
Mm. So I figured out okay maybe the taxi thing will not work. Yeah. After all Uncle Henry no longer likes me these days. <laughs> But he was maybe saying yeah. get away. Yeah. After all Uncle Henry no longer likes me. Mm. What do I do? Mm. What do I do? What do I do? What mm. do I do? Now here comes Rotary. They have a program to empower young people. Mm. Rotary Vision Church Port. exactly. Yeah. Rotary Vision Apoa now there is this particular Rotary and Pamela Nachitio. Mm. Is in charge of Rotary Vision Apoa and she's like find something you can do. Mm. Everything has money even if it is collecting rubbish. Mm. Now me I have lived on the streets and you telling me to collect <laughs> garbage. Rubbish. Yeah. I hated garbage. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm like what am I going to do? Mm. There is a guy had read about who does bees. Mm. Okay? Mm. Now, around the same time, mm. because I'd started a bit of communication skills mm. with Dr. Uh, Jack, Jack Smith, yes. then writing skills because mm. I went all the way. I went all the way. I mean, I would know the program mm. that this they are going to do this had started writing skills what are you in touch with dr jack smith i have to look for him yeah yeah okay you should send him this link <clears throat> sure yeah so i i i one of the facilitators was actually catherine tabade yeah i think now she's pr of unicef or something like that yeah they taught us how to write journals to keep journals what mm, mm. around the same time reza Mm. media reza newspaper was starting mm. so i went and applied mm. they said no go i went to observer mm. i met a gentleman mm. up to now is my friend mm. uh, robert spin mukasa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. was the editor mm. he said okay you can't do this here because of your level of education right but i want to encourage you mm. go and study journalism mm. And any time you come back here mm. I'll give you a job. Mm. I was like, really? Mm. I went back. Mm. Met Henry Duke Tamale, mm. now doctor. Mm. At that time those guys were at Makerere University studying yeah. Yeah. medicine and yeah. everything. He was sleeping in uh, UH mm. University Hall. So mm. I went to him that evening they had a lot of food we fast banged all the food. <laughs> 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 and then told them about this and they're like now what are you going to do? Yeah. First of all the semesters already begun. Yeah. You don't have money. Yeah. Mass communication here is one of the most expensive courses. Mm. I said guys. Mm. I don't know but God will do something. Mm. Tamale and his friend then mm. who is now a brother to me mm. Muganga Ronald mm. gave me 50,000 shillings mm. to go and buy forms for Mascom for admission. Yeah. But the same t- the semester had already gone yeah. like about a month or so. Yeah. I went to the Senate building to buy the forms and they told me no the same everything is closed. So what I do what are you going to do? I walked around that time there was an organization that I was announcing scholarships. Yeah. It was in Chibuli. Mm. I went there scholarships and bursaries. I went there only to find out that they were crooks. Oh oh. They were announcing on radio but they were crooks. Yeah. So they took my 50,000 and they told me I'll have to wait for a week for me to be considered. Yeah. So anyway, I waited for a week there's no response because I'd given it my 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 mother's uh, phone number and even informed her about I'm going to get a scholarship. They mm. conducted an interview and everything was okay, passed highly. Mm. Lawrence. Mm. After a week I walked to Chibuli. Mm and sat there made noise for this woman mm. you don't mess with the, a street kid man mm. I have nothing to lose mm. the lady got my 50000 and gave it to me mm. i walked all the way mm. but as i walked i was like so i went from chibuli i went through uh, uh queensway then went to lubiri mm. you know 
mm. Kabaka's palace mm. as I was looking down I saw this majestic building I'm like what what kind of building is that mm. hey, no 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 this is Bulange okay mm. so this is where they were taking a seat okay mm. I remembered but Kabaka pays for people yeah I entered yeah asked for the minister of education yeah went there told them I need a scholarship yeah. he looked at me yes yeah. I'm so and so like with all the confidence that yeah. years I am so yeah. tired sweaty yeah this the gentleman I found there said go down to Buganda Royal mm. I went down to Buganda Royal mm. and my pocket I had 72000 I remember mm. 72000 mm. so went down to Buganda Royal it was around 4 pm ish mm. Buganda Royal was then at a uh, how is it called okay where there is the current um, Tesa one yeah. university yeah yeah in mango yes mm. in mango mm. i walk in the office and i'm like i'm here to apply for a scholarship a scholarship mm. the lady turned like this and said we don't have scholarships <laughs> said okay but i want to study yeah what do you want to study i said anything <laughs> they give me yeah okay mm. I remember that day very well it was I think a Tuesday. Mm. Yes because from there I I I, I jumped on a board mm. that I never paid for God <laughs> forgive me because the moment I ju- I jumped off the board I took off. I didn't have money. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you you laughing <laughs> but in life you go to do certain things in a crazy manner uh, god forgive me <laughs> no 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 god should forgive me <laughs> i jumped off and took off so uh before i jump off the border <laughs> i let i talk to this lady and she says which, which course do you want to do mm. the semester is spent like a month or so mm. I said any course she gives me a brochure I look at them and I remember oh the other gentleman at observer told me to do journalism mm. that when I do it I'll mm. go back and mm. he gives me a job now mm. I don't know even the duration mm. I said I want to do this mm. a diploma in, in journalism mm. okay so uh, it, it is this much everything I said but do you have money said yes i have money i pulled out 72000 put it on the table nurses <laughs> 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 pulled out 72000 put it on the table why do i remember it's a tuesday in my head i had to go back and attend Rotary. a rotaract yeah fellowship mm. and that day i think we had a very interesting uh, guest speaker whom i later came to know mm. Is a Rotarian also, mm. Ethan Mussolini. Yeah, I'd had people talking about Ethan Mussolini, and mm. like ah, this guy even has a name Mussolini. <laughs> <laughs> this guy must be Italian or so. <laughs> so, what did the seventy-two K do? I mean, wh- wh- I gave the lady money. She looks at me, and she's like, "But the slots are done." Yeah. When you are determined to do something there is a way the universe will connive for your yeah. good. Yeah. As she was trying to tell me this. Yeah. A certain gentleman comes and stands in the middle of the door. Mm. Whom I later come to know is the deputy principal. Mm. William Jemba, Mr. William Jemba. Mm. He's still there at Buganda Royal. Mm. And shouts, you know, for him, mm. This is none of him. It's not an insult. Mm. He never has low volume. <laughs> no, 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 he never whispers. Naturally. Naturally. He's loud and he towers. Yeah. So he shouts, "Madam Nuru, there are these students that were admitted but up to now they are not showing up. What's wrong? If you find any other student, put them in." I'm like <laughs> at the point that you were there yes. looking for an opportunity she stands up and moves out with him the universe has a way of conniving you for your goodness yeah. lores when you are determined to get something yeah gets out yeah she gets out 
And a few minutes later, she comes back with the same gentleman. Yeah. Arudawa. As in? Where is he? Yeah. He's here. Young yeah. man, what do you want to do? I said anything. He moved out. The lady gives me the admission form. Uh, I feel it. Now, here is trouble. I don't know how many I got in my Oliver and Oliver because oh, the transcripts are still oh, at school. I had not cleared my, tu- oh, my fees. Yeah. So she gives me the receipt and she says, even if I tell you to take it to the bank, they will charge you. Mm. Certain times people think they are simply helping you. It's the heaven that is ordering them. Ordering their, them, their hearts. To, to, to do whatever they do. Yeah, yeah. So I get my receipt and my admission form. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, is it an admission form or something? That I had to fill in the, the grades I got. Mm. Put them in an envelope. Mm. Walk out. Mm. Yeah, well, say thank you. Mm. And I walk out. Mm. At the gate, I find a border guy. Stop him. Tell him, take me to Nansana. Mm. Nansana. <laughs> Ivory Hotel? Yes. The moment I jumped off, like, bah, I disappear. God forgive you again. God forgive me. <laughs> but some of us are holy thieves. <laughs> we are like Abraham. You get, you get into Egypt, you come out with a wife and, and gold. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mm. No. The thing is, whatever what you define as success, certain things you have to do them in a crazy way. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. When you are pushed against the wall, you 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 become innovative. Let me tell you. Yeah. Scarcity crisis, the mother of innovation. Yeah. Yeah. Someone needed to speak to a bigger audience. That's why. It, it, Speakers were invented. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? Yeah. Someone had to feel warm. That is why jumpers and jackets were yeah. invented. Yeah. Someone had to feel smart. That's why yeah. the yeah. tie was invented. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the border man, mm-hmm. I don't know. God forgive you. God forgive me. God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> Forever he is. He helped you. He has no idea. He has no idea. <laughs> So the next day, <laughs> the next day, mm. I go to Uncle Henry, telling him I need a job. Mm. I'm going to school. He tells me no. Mm. I tell him I need some money to call my mother. Mm. He gives me my fo- his phone. Mm. I call my mother, tell her I've been advit- admitted at, at Bukandaro. She's like, how? Mm. Mm-hmm. Where are you going to get all the money? Mm. Where are you going to do? Mm. I said, Mom, you know mothers and being emotional. Yeah. So I switch her off and I walk down to St. Francis. Yeah. I narrate the story. I have my papers. Mm. I show them to the head teacher. Mm. He told me, bring my money. Mm. I said, I don't have money. Mm. But they were constructing a building. I said, I can work on this building mm. to get money. Mm. Such that you, you, mm. you, you, you know what to do. Yeah. He says, all the uniforms you wore, you never paid for them. You never paid for my food. You never paid mm. school fees. Mm. You thought I wouldn't get you. Mm. I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> he chased me away. Mm. The next day, I find him. He mm. was getting into the school gate. Mm. I stopped. He used to drive a double cabin. Mm. I stop him and I say, Mr. Headmaster, mm. I want to study. Mm. He says, come back on Sunday. Mm. Now, on Sunday, mm. I was there very early in the morning. As these kids were being packed in the, uh, jumping on the school bus to go for church, mm. me, I was there seated like this. Mm. Seated like this, mm. waiting for the headmaster to come. Mm. He came, looked at me. For some reason, he's the one who drove the bus. Mm. He looked at me, wait. Now, remember Samatiko? Mm. I figured out. I went down to the kitchen. Mm. Started peeling because on Sunday they used to eat matoke. We started peeling matoke. Mm. Did everything. Mm. Did. By the time they came back at around 10, mm. 11, mm. the headmaster found me in the kitchen busy working. Mm. I'd not even seen him. I think he had stood there for 
and say it mm. so you, no, are, you are you are lost uh, in in your you're immersed in your work yes your mind was somewhere else exactly i remember i had I had a sweater on mm. and a, a certain light shirt mm. but the sweater i'd put it around mm. my waist mm. busy working in the kitchen mm. He said, "Senoga, come. Who gave you a job here? <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. You know he's like a bit of a tough man." Mm. He went to his office. Mm. Came out with an envelope with mm. both my transcripts mm. or an A level and mm. said, "Whatever God is carving out for you, mm. remember me. Mm. Whatever you become, remember me." Mm. That was my That was a miracle for me. Mm. That was a miracle for me. In my life later I came to do what I call the miracle jar. Mm. That every beginning of the year I have this jar. Mm. I, whatever good thing that happens and I consider it a miracle including this post because yeah. I write out mm. the date mm. and what has happened on that particular day and I throw it in. Mm. At the end of the year 31st when people are busy yeah Mm. I open my miracle you jar. Start reviewing. Start reviewing and for every miracle I thank God. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. There has never been a year yeah. where there are more days than the miracles. There are lesser days than the miracles that have happened in my life. Yeah. Sometimes you have more than 365 miracles every year, including the 365 miracles. days. Yeah. 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 Yes, days. Mm. That was the day. So I get these things and I ran. Mm. I ran because I knew I needed to beat time. Mm. I ran mm. and go mm. to Chamba Day's home. Mm. Chamba Day had a bicycle. Mm. I ask where he is and he's not there. Mm. But the bicycle is there. Mm. I set it off. Mm. Only to realize if you're coming from Nansana mm. down, mm. there is that Jenina slope. Mm. Only to realize that the slope, the slope, and the bike didn't have brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm riding to Buganda Royal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the bike didn't have brakes. Mm-hmm. Now I'm sloping down. I have to be at Buganda Royal. Mm. It is a Sunday. Mm. It had not registered in my head. Mm. School is closed. <laughs> I locked down. God has an interesting way of doing things. Yeah. For some reason there was this mad man crossing the road mm. where there is a national near there where there is a national water pump. Mm. Uh uh uh-huh. opposite Seven Sisters. Mm. As I tried to break like this, it failed to break. Mm. The guy is crossing the road. Mm. So I calculated instead of dodging him and I end up in the, a truck, <laughs> I bang the guy. <laughs> hey, but God me. provided a break. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That mad man, I think died recently. Oh. He died recently. I'm sure it's not from the bicycle. No, 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 accident. no. no, 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 no. <laughs> he was knocked by a car. Oh. Yeah. But he was prominent. Yeah. Because he used what whichever car used to park there, mm. he would rub it, it, clean it, mm. and he get mm. something. Mm. So he, that was what he was known for. Mm. I hit him. Yeah. F- fell off the bike. Yeah. He fell the other side yeah. and I fell on him. Wow. Soft landing. <laughs> <laughs> so you call it. <laughs> so this this is when I saw people coming from Bugembe's church. Pastor Bugembe says, "It's mm-hmm. a Sunday." Okay. My good my bike to be I uh, uh, probably, probably the school is closed. Yeah. Got my bike. Yeah. Veered went, into the church. No, 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 no. Yeah. Went back. Uh-huh. Went back home. <laughs> as I was as I was packing chamba the shoes up. Hey, msaja overwa. Uh-huh. But uh, The bike <laughs> the tires busted what was going on <laughs> So I, you even have wounds yeah okay 
So when I, later I told him the story, he laughed. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> so yeah. the lady who up to now I consider my big sister, that evening she was teaching at Nansen uh, Junior School. I went, told her the story, mm. and she gave me a black book. Mm. She said, this is my contribution to your studies, mm. you and your crazy things. <laughs> mm. I got the black book. Up to now I have it. Mm. We had eight course nu- units. Mm. That They're all in there. All there. Yeah. I, that semester. Now, God has a way of guaranteeing his um, mm. miracles. Mm. Every miracle he does, stamped and sealed. Mm. I asked my sister, uh, Birunji Nampala, mm. that's her name, mm. for her phone to call my mom. Mm. When I called my mom mm. to tell her mm. that my sister, there, there's always there's this thing about me to, to, to be accountable. Mm. Just to tell her that my sister has even given me a book yeah. for my studies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I've not yet been admitted, yeah. but I'm progressing. Yeah, yeah. In that You're already having resources coming in. <laughs> my mother said, okay, I also bought you a bicycle. Mm. You're going to study. Me, my contribution mm. is... Transport mm. said fine. Mm. That day I walked from Nansana mm. to Mperere where she was staying. Mm. Because I didn't have money mm. to mm. get my bicycle. Mm. I got the bicycle, mm. rode it. Hey, yeah, now I'm a boss. <laughs> Monday morning I was at Buganda Royal. With your bicycle. My bicycle. And your black book. My black book. Yeah. And, and your transcripts. My transcript. All those read, miracles. Ready to get into class. Yeah. My friend, I get at Buganda Royal. Mm. The lady looks at me and laughs. Mm. The bassa. Now, mm. that lady, mm. I realize she's the bus, deputy bus or something like that. Mm. No. Mm. She laughs and she says, have you brought more money? I said, no, but I brought my transcript. Mm. She laughs. So she takes me through the process, everything. I register that day. Like in about a few minutes, mm. about 30 minutes, mm. I get my admission. Mm. Did I go back home? No. I branched off to class. Sat. These guys had already started. Yeah, gone, ahead. gone ahead of you. Yes. Yeah. But I sat in like a champion, you know. Yeah. Started scribbling. <laughs> this is happening. Yeah. The dream finally. It's coming true. It's coming true. It's coming true. Mm. You know, I even have a bicycle. Mm. <laughs> in the evening, I'll ride, go back. The only family I had where I felt accepted was the Rotaract. Wow. I hope they listen to this. Some of these guys used to come in driving in their company cars. They yeah. were, you know, they are dropped. Like, they are yeah. class yeah. ahead of you. Yeah. These guys... Miles apart. Exactly. Some yeah. of them have done their university. They are in their final year. What? Yeah. Now you, you're there because you... black mamba bicycle. Mm. <laughs> I like the name. You know the name I gave it? Uh-huh. Mukundane. <laughs> Love one another. <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. Is it still there? Up to now, the first Mukundane was stolen. But because <laughs> <laughs> I guess where it was stolen from. The place had determined my that I would never go back. Makere University. Uh, and do you know the reason why it was stolen? Mm-hmm. I'd gone to Makere University to see Duke Tamale mm. so that we can have sausages. <laughs> he had promised me sausages. In my entire life, I'd never eaten sausages. <laughs> So it was stolen at UH. Okay. But I replaced it. Mm. Up to now I have Mukundani. <laughs> I I never I never write it like I mean I mean when was the last time I stopped? This is January. Yeah. I stopped writing Mukundani in October. But it is still there. Mukundani is still there. Love one another. <laughs> you know. My wife keeps quarreling. Spice, but I'm like, you don't, don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You know. So, uh-huh. <clears throat> I study. God has a way of stamping and sealing his miracle. Mm. When he says, I'll watch over my word to perform it. Mm. 
By the time I came into Buganda Royal, these guys had already gotten even their registration numbers, everything mm. done. Mm. But for some reason in that week, they recalled all registration numbers. Not for every course. Mm. Journalism. I think something had happened. Mm. Whatever happened, but uh, uh, an announcement was pinned on the notes board mm. that registration numbers will have to be changed, changed, redone. Mm. So, students should not use the old registration numbers mm. for their mm. exams. Mm. Well, we wait. They were following alphabetical order. Mm. I started with Abimani Lilian. Mm. Now she's in Dubai. Mm. There was Amania mm. Rainel. Mm. She's now in Canada. Mm. She married a certain Canadian. Make sure yeah. all these guys, you send them this link. I will. <laughs> you know? Yeah. There's a Gok scholar. Mm. Scholar a Gok. A, a Gok Anna scholar. Mm. She's a Sudanese, but now I think she's a model somewhere in Italy. Mm. All those are A's. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So they were following alphabetical orders. Mm. By the time the next list of of uh, registration com- comes out, mm. I was on top. Up to now, my registration number is DJ001. And of all my names, the other ones will be on top. I am Brian. Mm. But this time they did Senoga Brian. Senoga is double S. Since when did S become the first letter? Double S at that, by the way, because even if you started with S, Mm -hmm. there's S-A. You know? And then, (laughs) you guy. You know? Bam! Up there. Up to now. Abimani has a go. They have never forgiven me. How do you... (laughs) How? (laughs) Then, after Senoga, then the S. The S S starts. As in, your miracle is sealed, <coughs> signed, and delivered. And God will brag about his miracle. Yeah. He will show it that he's Jehovah, our banner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, here comes a battle for school fees. Okay. My mother told me the only thing she's contributing is transport. Mukondani. Mukondani. Mm. Now, mm. I walk to the principal. Mm. I made an appointment with the principal. Walked to him and he said, I need a scholarship. He looked at me and said, Go to the deputy principal. Mm. Remember the other guy, yeah. Jemba William? Yeah, the tall one. Yes, mm. tall, huge guy. Mm. Went to him and said, I don't have time for you. Go to the dean of students. Mm. I went to the dean of students. Up to now, he still is. Yeah. I need a scholarship. He said, But from how? Where? We well, don't do scholarship. What do you do? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I told him that he looked at me and said, Okay, go write a simple story mm. and come back. I wrote a very simple story from mm. my skills from mm. Dr. Communication Jack Smith. Jack Smith. Yeah. Wrote it to him. I said, Okay. Now we had started doing tests. He said there was sort of a strike. Mm at school because of you know uh, campus things mm. it was because of food i think mm. so students poured all the beans at the office mm. uh, at the kitchen mm. and for some reason they were saying most of them were they were, were djs diploma in journalism were djs were djs were djs mm. i want to assure you that they had not studied mm. and had not gone to school mm. what was i doing i don't remember mm. But I wasn't working. Mm. I knew I had to find tuition. Rent wasn't my major problem. Mm. How do I I would get rent? I didn't know. You didn't know, yeah. But the focus was education. Got to study. Um, the dean started summoning students, one and some one. of them were sent home. Yeah. When they said the dean is calling for you, I said I'm done. Yeah. First of all. I haven't even spent like two or three weeks here. Yeah. And, now, and he told me, okay, so you are Senoga? I said, yeah. Mm. Pulled out a letter. Mm. Guess what? Mm. Kabaka Education Fund oh. had given me a bursary. Wow. 
Mm. Now there is power in determination. Mm. Miracles, I say miracles happen in cans. Mm. If you say I can, mm. your miracle is closer. Mm. But your miracle is not going to move to you. Mm. Mm. You can move to it. You got to move to it. Yeah, you got to make uh, at least some effort commensurate to what you can do. <coughs> exactly. What can you do That's towards true. your miracle? Right? I don't know if I'm the first student who has ever moved to the principal's office. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. But here was a letter. Mm. A bursary. The next person to call was my mother. The moment I mentioned it, she broke down. Her <laughs> pressure, her pressure r- r- rose, rose up. up. Yeah. She was taken to the hospital. Yeah. Um, okay. Now I, I was learning to moderate how I break yeah, the news. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ran back to my sister. Mm. Told her, you see, you see. She said, okay, I'm adding you two more books, <laughs> <laughs> black books, Book, black books. Yeah. Back education fund, bursary. Yeah. The only thing I had to pay, actually, it was I, I only had to pay functional fees later. Right. Because the first thing was that. It was tied on to performance. Yeah. By the time I graduated, I was in the top five students in the entire school. And yet the other guys started ahead of you. Yeah. But God is interesting. God it is interesting. Mm. When I graduated at Buganda Royal, mm. two days later, I got a call at Miracle Center. That's another story. From Miracle Center Bible College, mm. I'd been offered a scholarship. Mm. by Pastor Robert Kayanja. Mm. Because I'd moved down to uh, Miracle Center. I went to Miracle Center not to pray, mm. to eat food. <laughs> 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 and I was wearing, I remember I was wearing, <clears throat> around that time, there was this uh, song by Good Life, yeah. Yambura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So the, 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 they used to put on those striped uh, trousers. Yeah. So when I went to buy a trouser, mm. I bought a, a, a striped a, trouser. A, tra- a striped trouser, but female. <laughs> For females. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I went down to Miracle Center. Uh, that day I was walk- walking around from school because I used to study day. Yeah. So you had a lot of time. Mm. So I was walking around Lubaga just to see. I don't know. I was looking for Pastor Peter Sematimba's home. Right. And this guy, but they say he stays around here. I would see a home that, a house that looks different. Yeah. And I would know that is his home. Yeah. So as I walked, I looked at a different building and I'm like, okay, is it a church? But I saw very many people there. Yeah. For some reason I knew yeah. there must be food. <laughs> I walked down to eat food, yeah. and there was food. Yeah. I ate the food, and after eating food, I saw people entering the church. Yeah. It was a Wednesday. Yeah. Like, what? It's evening. It's getting to evening. What are these people? Yeah. So I also entered. Maybe there's another set of food. food. <laughs> Dessert. Sort of. <laughs> I sat down, and here is a man that I used to see on Grace's TV. Yes. In the flesh. Showing up. I'm like, this is worth reporting about. Yeah. Guy preached. Guy preached. I'm like, is this the guy that I used to see? Mm. No. He preaches. He preaches. I remember very well the entire sermon Mm. and its title, Mm. Positioning Yourself for Prosperity. Mm. Peter, how he positioned his boat yes. for Jesus to sit in. Mm. Three years down the road, Jesus mm. hands him the church. Mm. And he said, you are the boat. Mm. Position yourself when he sits in. Mm. He will hand you the church. He will hand you something bigger. Mm. Said, this guy must be joking. He mm. doesn't know me. <laughs> if take, I give take myself, things literally. If I give myself to Christ, yeah. And he doesn't do what I want. Yeah. Me, I want to finish my graduation. Yeah. And I want to go back to that company. Yeah. And I get my job. Yeah, you've been promised a job. The only thing that you need is the education. But also, I looked at the young men and women of my of my age. And I'm like, really? So Jesus can do these things. Yeah. Jesus can really do these things. Yeah. Can make someone look like this. Ah, uh, me with my hair. Yeah. 
So he preached, he preached, but I don't know what became of him. Yeah. The preaching turned into a quarrel. Yeah. He stayed dropped the microphone and walked. So he never called made an altar call. Yeah. I was like, so is this how you become a friend of Jesus? Yeah. I had my 100 shillings in the pocket. Yeah. When they said give, yeah. I took the 100 shillings and dropped it in the basket. I think it must have made the loudest noise. <laughs> But on condition yeah. that whatever that man is talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it ever doesn't happen, mm. I'll come back to him. Mm. And I'll look for him mm. and I'll assure him <laughs> that you were a liar. Like, like you assured the the guys who were taking your 50k. Exactly. Mm. So, <laughs> on Sunday I was back with a borrowed bible mm. from a young girl called Musmenta Karo. <laughs> <laughs> who has na neighborhood mm. na rongo's daughter i borrowed her bible mm. and that sunday it was february i think 13th yeah. february yeah the man made the altar call i give myself to my life to jesus yeah now they took us behind the church at the launch they talked to us the new you're the, the brides of Jesus what like I'm hungry you are there talking <laughs> they gave us food okay now Jesus has started working <laughs> this is the thing yeah. Lawrence mm-hmm. to a hungry person mm. Jesus presents himself in a form of bread yeah to a sick person yeah. Jesus presents himself in a form of a healer yeah to the blind person Jesus yeah. presents himself as the vision bearer yeah. as the yeah. person who gives sight to, yeah to, 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 to a barren woman yeah. Jesus presents himself as the child he is relevant he is relevant to everyone's situation If someone if I'm hungry and you start taking tell, telling me about Jesus mm. without food you're wasting your you're time you're wasting your time to be honest this business of looking at someone who is hungry and say god bless you how god will bless me through you yeah yeah so they gave us food now i started seeing jesus yeah, yeah. and i knew <laughs> next week i'm coming back this food is very delicious this food is very delicious i came back i came back I came, for about Six months what used to take me to miracle center was food food i would ride mukundane all the way from nansan <laughs> to come and eat food <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yes to come and eat food mm. jesus has been consistent was <laughs> consistent presenting himself on the plate yeah that is how much i had reduced him to the level of a plate mm. and he never disappointed mm. Mm. until i grew the scripture says that to the babies mm. get milk. milk yeah okay mm. when he says precept by precept precept is thread by thread yeah until you reach a level where you can crush bones yeah today I can never go to a place because there is food yeah. but then jesus had to be consistent yeah. to watch over his word yeah. or the word that his servant had given me yeah 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 and they used to give us food a lot of food and i go back and do double now <laughs> to grow me out of the food <laughs> to grow me out of the food the mm. lady who used to work at the canteen mm. pastor andrew's daughter Mm. somehow enrolled me among those who wash dishes mm. at the canteen at mm. miracle center mm. so i would go to school mm. ride my bicycle to miracle center mm. in the evening mm. wash the dishes and she would give me a plate like a bucket of food yeah until i outgrew that yeah you know yeah i washed the dishes behind there yeah Most people at Miracle Center don't know, but mm. I washed the dishes. Mm. And up to now, mm. Pastor Andrew's daughter, I mean wife, I mm. call her mommy. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. Now, so she enrolled you. Now you're through with the the, mm, mm, the Royal <coughs> Buganda Royal? Buganda Not Royal. yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Yeah. So I started that Buganda Royal now how to put it to present it. So we're going into guild 
uh, campaign i said but they think i can take a shot here but the guy who presented himself as the the guys who presented themselves were cruising cars <laughs> now here <laughs> no, no no i'm not going to <laughs> i stopped i went to nkoba zambogo what is that nkoba zambogo it's a buganda youth yeah. uh, organization yeah so i went into nkoba zambogo contested became a publicity secretary uh-huh. right. I felt like being part of the Nkoba Zambogo. Yeah. I was just giving ba- I was giving back to my the Kabaka yeah, for yeah. the scholarship yeah. he gave me. Yeah. Because when I performed better, yeah. everything else was scrapped and I only paid function of fees. Right. 300,000. Right. For oh. how many years? Two. Two years. Okay. Mm. So I told my mother about it. Oh, she was happy. Mm. You know. Um <laughs> I never stopped going to Rotaract mm. because the, of the connections yeah. that I was seeing yeah. and the big people would meet I was like what yeah. on Tuesday I have to go to Popopo yeah. and I'm sitting in the same room with the vice president yeah honorable Edward Chwanka Sekandi yeah. his excellency yeah. oh my god yeah the, the topic of discussions whatever I'm like wow okay like things started working out things started working out you you I, had mentioned earlier that Mussolini came yes Mussolini came mm. gave us a talk mm. a talk that he called actually mm. that in life if you're going to be an actually person things are not going to work mm. actually it's, yeah like everything is okay you have to fight mm. you know mm. yes one day i go to is it imperial uh, grand imperial hotel mm. Uh, the uh, equatorial club yeah equatorial oh, okay. their club used to meet there and guess what i see Mussolini the guy so and who moves in the governor bank of uganda i'm like yeah. no one gets out of this yeah. group yeah my friend and this is why it's important to be partic- a participant in life yeah so whenever i would move to a club and i realize there is no one at the registration desk i would sit at the registration desk and offer your Services. services yeah so everyone registers what i'd gotten so much in touch with the other gentleman dr mm. cox mm. same people mm. you know mm. so he used to tell me come to africana on friday mm. or drive my bicycle go to africana find somewhere to park it enter the room mm. and hey, these muslim guys are so welcoming mm. and guess what as you're leaving in the evening they buy you food mm. you know mm. As, as you're leaving in the evening they buy you food mm. you you things are happening mm. you see once you sort out the food war yeah. you are on a journey to prosperity yeah 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 once you fail at the food war yeah everything else yeah. might not work out that, that, they don't make sense <clears throat> they don't make sense so mm. so I'll sit at the registration desks what now You see the person at the reception. Mm. And t- unless if their mindset is open, they have an open mind. Mm. Everyone comes through the reception. Mm. They have an opportunity to know who has come in. Mm. That that that's the gift mm. at the registration desk. Mm. Mm. So I would know who has come in. So whichever Rotary club now I stopped going for Rotaract mm. meetings. Mm. I would only attend my Your, own, your, your, your club my club yeah but when it came to making up mm. you would go to rotary, rotary clubs yeah. yes so i would know sometimes i would hear in this rotary meeting so okay that gentleman comes or that lady comes from this rotary club yeah i will go to their visit. club yeah i'll visit their club i visited kasangati mm. i met uh, different people i visited and i would come back on tuesday to my r- club mm. and uh report only rotary clubs mm. today is the drr district rotary uh, rotary representative no one yabwana mm. at that time he was president of my club and he said i think we need to make rotary actor brian mm. a permanent representative of our club in rotary yeah yeah well i left him long time in rotary Act. yeah even became a, a president, president of my club yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah. When I joined Morocco Center I realized well they told us that you have to have a department 
mm. and you must choose which department mm. now i'm not good in music i don't know how to sing mm. Mm. but i chose the choir <laughs> <laughs> because they would look good i mean this is the, <laughs> like like the front page of of, yeah. of the church yeah so um i chose the choir when i went to the choir they were doing rehearsal like interviews mm. they took me through an interview mm. and the interview was singing i sang mm. but i looked at the pastor and out <laughs> and he said okay enter yeah i entered yeah but i danced more in the choir than singing <laughs> <laughs> i did more dancing yeah. in the choir than singing because yeah. we were always there yeah <laughs> we are the fun what oh, let's dance yeah <laughs> so, yeah Meanwhile, I was growing through. So, yeah. uh, one day they announced at church before I even finished Buganda Royal mm. that there were scholarships mm. at Miracle Bible College. Mm. Mm. I said, "What does it take?" Mm. Okay, I think let me apply. I mean, mm. Mm. I applied. Mm. When I applied, they told me you need a reference from your from your department head. Mm. The department head at that time was Pastor Isaac Seru Kenya. Mm. I took him my form. He said, "Ha, mutabani. Mm. You mean mm. you want this? How are you going to do both of them?" Mm. Well, let me sign for you. Chu 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 chu. He signed and said, "May God grant you your yeah, your desire." Yes. I took it back. I graduated on 9th February. Mm. On the 13th February I got a call from Miracle Bible College. You graduated, you graduated from Royal Buganda Royal on uh, 9th, 9th February. February. Right. On 13th February. Yeah. These guys called you up. Yes. Mm. At that time I just graduated but during yes when when I was still studying I was I read a book mm. by Ambrose mm. Chibuka. Chibuka. After university, After university what, what next? next? Yes. And in my second semester, mm. first year, mm. I went back. I'd gone back to Robert Spin Mukasa mm. of Observe. Mm. Said, "Sebo, I'm now doing journalism. Can I practice from here?" Mm. Said, "Fine." Mm. We worked. Uh, he gave me. He would give me hints. Go here. Go there. Go mm. there. Go there. Mm. And around the same time. Uh, Reza Media opened mm. up a newspaper, the Reza newspaper. Mm. So he had been poached mm. from from the other side to Reza. To Reza, yeah. One day I turn up in the morning, yeah. Okay, and I don't see my editor. Yeah, I ask people about him, and they tell me no, he went to Reza. I ask where is Reza? Yeah, it's just a stone throw. Yeah. Like you see kingdom and and and, and yeah and uh, oasis oasis mm. I crossed and find him sir what is going on and he said sit the mm. work mm. I worked with the razor mm. I think my title was volunteer because <laughs> I don't remember ever having a card <laughs> or anything that shows that I worked with yeah. the razor yeah but I used to write stories mm. and because of distances I used to go to Mulago. Mm. You know, mm. the razor was at Dark Couriers, mm. their headquarters at mm. Dark Couriers, Kamwacha. Mm. So I used to cross and go to Mulago Hospital, mm. do all the stories. Mm. Some of my stories would make front page. Mm. Now I would get a copy, go back to school and tell my classmates, "You, you mm. see, you're mm. just joking." Mm. Mm. But the byline doesn't put money in your yeah. in your pocket. Yeah. However, that prestige alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I never, I don't ever remember writing an internship report. Wow. No, because, because this was it. Exactly. Mm. I would just get and my my teachers would buy, my lecturers would buy the paper mm. and see my mm. byline. Mm. But after university, what, what next? next kicked it off? Yeah. And one of the statements that I vividly remember that Ambrose Chiboka wrote, yeah. Even a dead clock is twice right in a day. Yeah. Don't fear mistakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So after graduation, me I was busy working mm. with the Reza. Mm. These guys call me mm. at Miracle Center. Mm. You've been offered a Robert Kayanja scholarship. scholarship. Do you know what 
that means? Yeah. I ask, is it a certificate or diploma? They tell me it's a certificate. I said, can you upgrade, please? Mm. They told me, no, you have to go back to your department head. Mm. I go back to Pastor Isaac Selkenya. He says, I will mm. talk to them. Mm. He talks to them, just a call, mm. and I'm upgraded to a diploma. Mm. Two years at Miracle Bible College. Now, God has a plan for everybody. Mm. Remember my street life, I was so depressed. Yeah. I had this deep-seated anger mm. for people. My heart was really hot. Mm. I was bleeding and I didn't know. Mm. Everything was dealt with at, at, at the, the Rako the Bible diploma. College. Yeah. Yeah. Those two years, I came out refined with right. a different perspective of life. Yeah. Knowing that no matter what, mm. God has my back. Mm. Went into Rotaract, they did this, did mm. that. Now, around that time, I discovered mm. uh, Reza closed. Mm. When Reza closed, mm. Reza newspaper closed, mm -hmm. as a gentleman had met, mm. he's also an, my hero, mm. Caesar Abanjira. Mm. He was at Monitor. Mm. So one day, where rays are closed, I don't know what to do. You know, I'd, I'd started getting some money. Mm. I don't know what to do. So I, 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 I call. He had I'd even bought a phone. You don't joke with me. <laughs> <laughs> bought yourself a phone. I, I bought myself a phone. So now people would call you directly, not mama. Uh -huh. Because you call my mother, mm. you'll have to wait for weeks yeah, yeah, to get yeah, the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I. I, I, I call him and I tell him, man, I don't know what is going on. Mm. I don't know what is going on. Reza's closed. Da, 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 da. I finished my, my diploma. Mm. And he tells me, come to monitor. Mm. Come to monitor. I didn't know where monitor was. Mm. But for some reason, mm. streetwise. Yeah, found it. Found it. Mm. Okay. I get to monitor. And he takes me straight to the editor. Mm. News editor mm. Alex at Hyrie, mm. and he tells him, This is Brian Senoga. We've been together at mm. uh, Reza, is good, especially mm. issues of health. Mm. Do you know what Alex said? Mm. Go write an application, and the application here mm. is a story. Find a story. Mm. That particular day, you found a story. Yes, do you know the story? Mm -hmm. Conjoined twins were born in Molago. Yeah. And the PR then, Dan Kimosho, now is a member of parliament. Yeah. Called Brian, where are you? There's some news here. Come. Yeah. I went, did the story. I broke the story. Yeah. If you go online. Yeah. I was the first person. Ah, Alex was like, this was our kind of guy. Yeah. This was our kind of guy. Chris Obore. Yeah. He's now PR of parliament. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Said, this young man. Yeah. For some reason, I would have all these sources in yeah. mm. Ministry of Health, what? Mm. Kept breaking these stories. But mm. remember, mm. Byline doesn't put money in your pocket. Right. So I had not been enrolled on the payment Zero. system yeah. for about four or five months. Mm. So I would depend on a few stipends here mm. and there. Mm. As I study at Bible College mm. in the evening, but I, I would leave monitor, ride my bicycle, go mm. to Miracle Center after mm. Miracle Center at around 9 p.m., ride my bicycle to Nansana, mm. sleep, mm. morning, monitor, like mm. that, like that, like that. Mm. One day, as I'm busy at my Rotaract Club in Nansana, mm. Guess who shows up? Who the guest speaker is? Mm -hmm. Dr. Cox. And he says, Gwe, you are lost. Where have you been? Mm. I'd spent quite a long time with that. He says, now, every Friday, you must attend the Rotary Club of Kampala mm. As a must. Mm. I said, but I, I... And he said, no, no, no. Mm. He pulled out 100,000. That is transport. <laughs> <laughs> you have no excuse now. No excuse. Yeah. But... I have my bicycle. Yeah. I would buy water. Yeah. <laughs> and ride my bicycle. Yeah. Kept going there, kept going there. Mm. Then I graduate from Bible College. Mm. 
still working at monitor mm. been put on the payment mm. uh, system mm. well a little bit of the money comes through mm. and rotary club of kampala chiburi mm. is such a small club that everyone knows the other it's it's like a family family yeah and uh they say but we need to this young man has been so much on the shores mm. like a time came when they needed to ask for anything about the club i know mm. i'll do the legwork of the club mm. do this front to country office meet this one on behalf of the club mm. said okay let's induct you mm. someone sponsored me mm. i got inducted mm. and i knew i had to pay for my mm. so i did all the work mm. rose through the ranks mm. in the history of rotary club of kampala chiburi mm. i'm the youngest inducti mm. president mm. you became president at that club no yes i became president at that club yeah. but i i became president i think after four years of mm. induction mm. yet there are people who have spent like 12 years mm. what mm. what Now I don't consider this as a given. Mm. I consider it a miracle. Mm. Mm. I consider it a miracle. What was this was this was it uh, last year? Yes, 2021. Yes, it's, 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 yes 2020 2021. Mm. Okay? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. And I consider it a level of trust. Mm. You don't get poor said don't give leadership church leadership to novice. Yeah. But these ladies and gentlemen considered my everything and they said mm. the day I was nominated I wasn't there I was in Karamoja mm. and uh, mm. the chairperson council of past presidents mm. called and says congratulations you mm. are our president elect mm. and I said no mm. of course I'd been a uh, club peer uh, um, before I'd been a uh, admin club admin mm. and secretary twice. Mm. You know. Mm. So I think they thought I'm capable. Mm. But in my mind I was like one I'm young mm. like like Jeremiah said yeah. to Moses yeah. I am young yeah. I'm not such a fluent yeah, speaker uh, uh, when it comes to, to to money how much do I have apart from Mukondani? Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 You know. Mm. It, and at the same time i was doing my degree mm. at uh, islamic university in uganda mm. there was quite a lot that was going on in my life mm. so well they made me president i wow. refused yeah they, they this, wrote this not back something that it. it's not like they back back then in school when you wanted leadership position no 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 this no. is something that other people saw in you yes. and they fronted that you should lead yes and in the regulations someone has to be there some mm. some, some some clubs even people nominate and campaign mm. but for my case i wasn't there mm. i knew the club assembly was going to sit but i wasn't seeing myself on the list mm. of people mm. but the entire club agreed mm. and then the chairperson of the council but no 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 the president then mm. gave me a call mm. and said congratulations i said no mm. but i wanted to play tricks and uh, mm-hmm. be so professional i said okay put it in writing <laughs> i thought i was yeah i thought it would be yeah the lady sat down and she's tight. a lawyer yeah luki ambaja <laughs> tight <laughs> and copied in people i said thank you and i returned that particular evening the email yeah said but i am n- unable uh, so i humbly declined said received the yeah. email and two days later because i was the secretary i was instructed to call for a meeting yeah. cast of past presidents is going to sit so i informed the people not knowing what was coming through yeah the yeah, chairperson cast of past presidents yeah writes back an email copying in everybody and said congratulations rotary and brian yeah you've been uh, f- for this day, day, day. i said but i i remember having declined yeah. and i still stand by my mm. i'm not in position mm. well 
because is a is a is a commissioner yeah a senior member of uh, of of a senior citizen he wrote back quoting the constitution i think it was just crooked to me dead <laughs> by the virtue of the powers entrusted <laughs> i therefore order you <laughs> and he signed chairman council of past presidents matter settled wow he said and i consider this matter settled he knew you could do it to date he calls me mutabani i'm his son yeah well as we were still there we are in lockdown yeah so yeah, leading yeah. in a lockdown yeah yeah we have projects to execute what everything yeah, yeah but god god god, god is gracious yeah. everything was done and uh, yeah went through and scratched yeah it taught me leadership yeah uh working with people yeah uh you, you can't do alone i mean uh, if there's anything that is so interesting is rotary presidency right. once you have a team mm. yours is simply to delegate and maybe chair mm, 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 mm. do other things mm. yes uh my passion for life yes i am i deal with bees you that, know that is that's a, another <laughs> big story that we need to maybe just come another day and talk about oh my god honey i know when we start talking about bees and honey <laughs> Yeah that's that, that's my life that's my life how i get into there like the universe will connive yeah bees stung me <laughs> and i went to the hospital for <laughs> three nights yes slept there for three nights but i continued searching about them yeah and i fell in love with bees and bang if i know I'm, i mean i used my opportunity in in, in the media to write about bees more my experience with bees how they stung me if you go on uh, on google and search what it means to be stung yeah the entire story is there yeah. like you know god god will write your your story yeah in simple simple dots yeah and connect them and connect them mm. the dots might be thin mm. but the the connecting line mm. is always thick mm. for god brags about his miracle mm. so well today i i run a company mm. called my honey mm. uh we are we are we are doing we are doing well we mm. have farmers in uh, eight districts now that we have trained uh we buy from them Mm. uh we are now uh, have a few supermarkets that we supply mm. uh, other individuals mm. mainly we don't just deal in honey we mm. deal in other bee products mm. we have uh, equipment that mm. we, we we sell mm. uh, yes and uh, we have another line of merchandise that is opening up mm. looking just at coming it. from bees yes everything is inspired by nature yeah everything is inspired by nature Yeah and uh, we, we we thank God that he is still writing our story wow. for he's the author and finisher yeah, of our everything <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 wow your story is absolutely incredible uh, there are some Glory laughing moments there are some crying <laughs> moments uh it is very inspiring and uh, you need to write it in a book now that uh, you are wow. a writer it needs to be out there in a book you of course know about uh, betty ogiel lubanga yes <laughs> and she has against a book all out against all odds i've read it yeah. and it's one of my yeah. masterpieces yeah mm-hmm. yeah you need to have your story written and uh, <laughs> the world needs to read your story and the world wow. is going to listen to what you've just shared i don't know if you've shared this story elsewhere with people not really yeah it it needs, really. it needs to be out there because <laughs> it's inspiring what, what happened to your father's property it, it went no everything else was taken everything else what yeah. we're left with is life wow because even our home yeah. was taken shamelessly people took your your stuff yeah and but, they live in it 
today. Lawrence, that's the world. Yeah. That's the world we live in. Mm. That people will stop at nothing when they are robbing. Mm. Mm. They stop at nothing and they don't care about other people. Mm. Okay? But once you realize that there's there's life after that. I mean, okay. Now let me tell you about our home. Mm. Those of you who know Nansana, when you're sloping at there's somewhere they call Kabumbi Road. Mm. As you're sloping like this, mm. you just count about one, two, three houses. Mm. One, two, three houses mm. on your right. Mm. You know, my dad had two acres there mm. in Nansana mm. with a house and a school, mm. a kindergarten, mm. all that. Mm. Someone took. Took. Mm. And we were left to grass. Mm. Okay? But one day, <laughs> God is interesting. I used to pray. The Bible says God is on the side of the orphans. Yeah, and the widow. So, and the widow. Mm. And he will fight. Mm. Now, let me tell you this. One day, I think about three, four years ago. Mm. No, 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 no. It was 2017. Mm. As I'm walking down that street, mm. I saw our former house, yeah. former home. Yeah. Things were being thrown out. Mm. People being evicted or something? Sort of. Mm. But one of the things that were being thrown out, because these guys, are, I think they had shared... Uh, there is property. Mm. I saw my father, my father's bed, mm. and a, a, a wall clock mm. that was in our living room. Yeah, I saw it, but it had sort of like stuck somewhere. Mm. It was a huge wall clock, mm. very huge. Mm. And as I moved down, I felt the spirit. Now I say the spirit of God because then I didn't know yeah. that the Holy Spirit speaks. Yeah. I would say something telling me. Yeah. Now, this is the time mm. when I saw that clock. Mm. This is the time. Well, I dashed. Mm. Guess what? Mm. The person who took over our home, mm. our house, mm. later I came to know from a guy called Sunday. Mm. Sunday was a, a brother to the other Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yasin Kabunga. Mm. He told me that they sold it at 55 million. Only. Only. That's a giveaway price. Mm. Okay? Mm. A house that had even boys' quarters there. So the house and the land at 55 million. Exactly. Next to the road. As in prime land. Very prime. Yeah. Those who know, they know that Wakiso is the dormitory yeah, of yeah, Kampara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that they had sold it at 55 million. At gunpoint. Wow. So. At gunpoint. And the people that took it later... It was the, the lawyer. Yeah. My dad's lawyer. Yeah. Later I read in the papers yeah. the guy had been shot. Shot dead. In a certain land, whatever. Same things, same shenanigans. Yes. Land shenanigans. Yes. Mm. That he had been shot with his wife. Ouch. Now, when people start haunting others. They don't know that they are creating a legacy, but also God follows through. When the word of God says, is it in Exodus, that he's a God of the f- of visits. third mm, the and fourth, fourth generation. generation. You don't need your children to pay the price. You let it. Mm. I read the papers and I was like, wow. And guess which papers? Mm. Monitor where I worked. God is interesting. He makes sure that he will make the testimony mm. visible. Mm. 
visible that it is undeniable mm. i will not mention this lawyer mm. but god forgive him mm. okay the guy who took over the cars mm. the costas the costas mm. i think around 2019 I went down to the car park because I didn't have some money mm. just to mingle with the guys and tell them give me about 3 4 cars I mm. I shout around and mm. I they feel told me mm. eh, you know the guy now sleeps in Japan and I'm like what does that mean mm. yeah he, s- he stays in Japan I'm like what what is Japan he made it what they meant yeah. he now sleeps in a car he lost his home Wow. An old Costa that belonged to my father. That's where he sleeps. <laughs> Funny thing, they had like taken shares in the company. Mm-hmm. One of them had sold the the trailers. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Had sold the trailers to someone, mm-hmm. the Congolese, then sold it to another Sudanese, then mm-hmm. sold it Now, mm. he sold the same property to different people. Mm. They grabbed him 18 years in Lozera. In Lozera. Vanity, my friend. 18 years. All these things I'm not making them up. They are true. God might delay according to our timing. Wow. Okay? Mm. So as God is sorting this out let god sort out keep the faith keep the faith let the it normally says venge, vengeance belongs it, to god it says vengeance is mine yeah keep the faith 18 years in luzira now the issue i come to know it wasn't mainly about the trucks mm. it involved some minerals in congo mm. that even the people that were around him died to a shot okay mm. the fourth guy today is a driver still is a driver he drives a farm tractor somewhere in chenjojo for one of the ministers in this country mm. when i was going to chenjojo to train beekeepers in chenjojo i met him there i met him and i'm like did he recognize you Yes yes yes. See hey, Mutabani. Yeah. Chimuli chimuli. Mm. Because my dad was called Chimuli I think. Mm. Mutabani. Mm. He's busy there driving a tractor. I'm like, what? Mm. This guy is supposed to at least drive an oil truck. Mm. Because what brought problems was something to do with oil. Mm. Mm. He's there. Mm. So I trained my farmers for a week. And guess what? I bought him a bunch of bananas. Wow. My heart is clean, Lawrence. My mm. heart is clean. I forgave myself. Yeah. Forgave everybody. Mm. And I knew and I know that the Lord has a plan for them. Mm. A good plan. Mm. Only that it is now their time to learn a lesson. Mm. And it is also my time to learn a lesson that I If ever anything happens I shouldn't mm. turn against somebody mm. back and stab them mm. you know yeah so th- 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 that is life that is life in this world no one will ever get out of this world with a debt mm. no mm. the world remains with what belongs to it yep When the Bible says you shall eat the good of the land mm. you know in the land of the living mm. yes but not in a wicked manner mm. sometimes when you say these things some people think we are cowards mm. no we mm. have seen the hand of God doing the good do you know why Jesus is called the lamb the lion and the lamb mm-hmm. this is the thing and this is my revelation mm. he's the lamb to those that follow him mm. and he's a lion mm. to those that haunt those that follow him yep. you don't need in any way 
to see the face of the lion. Because below the face of the lion are crows. Mm. And the lion moves with his crows. Mm. The lion roars. Mm. The lion can be destructive. Mm. The lion is not an animal of peace. Mm. Mm. Always strive to be on the side of the lamb. Yeah. Because with the lamb, you have fur for your yeah. clothing. Yeah. Warmth. Warmth. Mm. You have the fat mm. for your eating. Mm. You can even get the milk. Mm. With the lamb, you can play around. Mm. Don't joke with the face of the lion. Yep. When Jesus pulls out his face mm. and is the lion this time, mm. go down on your knees mm. and say, have mercy mm. because the lion will pounce on you. Mm. Guess what? The lion, I, I was reading about the philosophy of the, the lion and all that. Mm. Before the lion sets off to run, mm. the heart is already racing at 80 kilometers per hour. Mm. There are not very many animals that survive the lion. Mm. And the lion is so destructive that the first thing it gets is the, the vein. That comes right from the heart yeah. to strangle you mm. and finish you. Some of the people in the world and whatever, because of business, because of, of, of tomorrow's survival, they have moved either knowingly or unknowingly on the side of the face of the lion. Mm. And it is destructive mm. because when the lion comes, it spares even he doesn't even spare the children. That's why he says, I'll go to the fourth, mm. the third and fourth generation. Mm. Wow. I've seen this in my life. Mm. And I know mm. for sure that God watches over his word to perform every scripture, every letter in the scripture mm. has life, it breathes and it performs. Mm. Right. It's been a wonderful discussion and uh, it, it can go on and on and on. But I promise mm. we will come back at some point in time later on to talk specifically about your passion for bees. Yeah. <laughs> because you're already yeah. talking about training farmers here and there and on life signatures we normally talk about transformation, uh, things that you're passionate about mm -hmm. that transform society mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. way or another and I think what you're doing does that. But mm. also on life signatures, we talk about resilience. Yeah, sure. And today you've served us a five or maybe a seven course meal ah. on resilience. And I know that people will be blessed to, to hear this. And please share it out with as many of your Rotaract people as, mm -hmm. as possible when it comes out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, until another time, Thank I am you. wishing everyone uh, a good day maybe. and God bless you. Maybe you have your last word to say. Yeah, um, keep the faith. Yeah. And whatever happens, um, know that life is sweet. Yeah. Life is sweet. If it is not sweet now, mm. it will end up sweet. Right. Keep the faith right. and faith in God. Right. Amen. Bye bye, people. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.